Okay, today is April the 2nd, 2017, and right now at 2 p.m., we have a temperature of 74 degrees in the foothills. Uh, the relative humidity is 30%. We have a dew point of 42 degrees, and the uh, barometer is reading 29.9796. 29.96. Okay, so right now we're looking at the uh, South Central Visible Loop right over Texas, and we can see some uh, superheating going on. Giant, giant uh, thunderstorm being uh, superheated. Let's go ahead and stop the loop and take it from the first frame. And what we're seeing right here is uh, these areas right here. This is a previously targeted area that is expanded out. Uh, these other hits, these little dimples here, this is where the microwave is hitting the storm and over here as well. And that uh, immediately superheats the water vapor. It generates a shock wave, which radiates out. And we'll go ahead and scroll through this. And we can see that as we advance to the next frame, this, uh, this crater becomes much larger. Go back and forth here, we can see that. So these areas here have just been targeted. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these, of these, uh, areas right here that have been targeted. Uh, as we move forward, we can see the effect that has. And notice this area here where all of this uh, sort of the steam, uh, and that's exactly what it is. It's uh, This generates superheated water vapor. It destroys the organization of the thunderstorm convection process because we're forcing superheated air uh, in, in that uh, cold rising a thunderhead and so uh, that's what's happening here let's go ahead and just scroll through somebody put a post uh, on the channel today uh, from Kansas describing what he was seeing as he was driving and uh, it was rather interesting describing how the clouds all disappeared and we saw he said he saw a lot of uh, steam would look like a haze and then he saw the jets out spraying i believe is what uh what he saw over here look at here same thing areas that are being targeted right here we back that up again we can see the expansion taking place all through it so this is how it's done and if we look at the uh the water vapor map, we can see the uh, diminishment right over here. The color diminishment from this magenta down to the amber and the blue. Now this is very severe weather, so they're hitting this, but these storms are immediately rebuilding. And so they're hit again, they're hitting, they're hitting these continuously. And of course the uh, tornadoes are part of this operation as well, that all this, uh, High and low pressure being mixed together uh, helps generate very wild weather. And so there are tornadoes, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, in, in these areas down near Louisiana and Texas. Okay, so uh, that's the water vapor map. We can see a, a slight blast pattern right, right here on the western side of that uh, moisture field right there. And of course, we've got a transmitter right on the back side of this area. This is the actual center of the vortex trying to spin here. We can see a sort of a straight edge and a right angle uh, forming right, right about there. There's a lot of manipulation going on. There's a, a transmitter microwave uh, working the core of that system. And then we have the pinpoint uh, microwave uh, blasts hitting the various thunderheads. And storms developing all through the uh, through the area. Here's the uh, infrared loop. That is a very intense system. That's deep red way down here on the uh, scale. And we can see what looks like a blast pattern right towards the end. This uh, circular blast. The shock wave. 
also out here as well. Right there. All right, let's look at the uh, North Pacific uh, water vapor loop. We can see a hurricane force. This is a 981 millibar hurricane force storm, which is sort of moving to the uh, north uh, east. That's pretty far out in the Pacific. Uh, 160 uh, west, I believe that is. Okay, so, uh, and also we have this developing uh, upper low, upper, uh, upper level low pressure system right here, which is uh, being blocked. We can see a, a very large blockade engineered right here. And uh, that is uh, preventing anything, uh, any kind of weather from, from the south or the uh, west or from the north getting down into into the center of that uh, weather system. There's a blockade right through here. Let's take a look at that right now. All through here. That's the same blockade we uh, showed in the video yesterday. All right, now here is the, uh, the East Coast. We can see that storm over Texas and Louisiana. We've got tropical flow moving through this uh, area of the Gulf of Mexico. This is all being separated. There's high pressure installed here to uh, separate this entire system. Okay, here's the uh, surface analysis map. We can see that hurricane force system right there in the center. And that is uh, moving to the northeast right here, 981 millibar. A lot of high pressure that's been installed that will uh, prevent this from getting anywhere near the uh, west coast. Actually got two highs shown there. Here's a trough shown right over uh, California right here, right down the middle of California. I haven't seen any uh, chemtrail activity yet. Still only two o'clock here on Sunday. Now here's the swell report. We have 12 foot swells right, right on the very outer edge of this uh, hurricane force system. As this moves into the uh, frame here, we'll get to see the, you know, the swells and how much energy that system has. We've got 18 foot swells off of Northern California and nine, six and nine foot seas off of Southern California. That's the report uh, for now. I just want to do a quick update. It's only been a few hours since I put the other last uh, video online, but this is a pretty interesting evidence of what's been going on here. We'll just leave it right here. And this is the area where the uh, microwave is targeting the storm. And over here as well, these big craters. That is the superheating process. We have rapidly expanding uh, water vapor. And this generates uh, shock waves and also descending air and a lot of wild weather, which causes the uh, tornadoes. Okay, so we'll just leave it right here. Okay, that's it.